What's up guys, Chandler here coming back to you guys with another video. This one, another build we're really excited for. It's my CZ Scorpion and my new backpack gun. Let's check it out. All right guys, so let's get straight into it. As we said before, the CZ Scorpion was built for the purpose of a backpack gun, and here it is. Of course, first things first, let's do that notorious safety check. Good to go. So before we get into it, let's go over a few of the products that we have featured on this build. The main brands of products featured in this build were SB Tactical, HP Industries, Strike Industries, and Magpul. We've also got products featured from Olight, the PL Pro Valkyrie, and the Sig Romeo 5, which has been, both have been featured previously on the channel. So let's start going through some of the products we have on this firearm. Let's go over what you can't see on the inside. And that is, first and foremost, the HP Industries spring kit for the Evo 3. Now that is, this is their lightweight trigger kit that drops their, the notorious 12 pound trigger that we talked about in the first impressions video down to about five, five and a half pounds trigger. Probably the best bang for your buck in upgrading a Scorpion. I believe that this trigger kit costs $9. Um, and absolutely 100% do it, easy install. Um, HP Industries has a video how to do that on their YouTube channel. While we're talking about them, HP Industries, the second thing that I got is the Evo 3 Mini AK Selector Switch. And that is because, as you can see, I got mine on the right side of the gun. On the opposite side is the selector that normally came with it. And when you put it to fire, this lever sticks so far down that it actually can dig into your hand when you shoot. So this right here on safe, you know it's down and towards the trigger guard, you know it's on safe, and up is fire, so it will not get any way of your trigger finger. S tested this out at last range day, absolutely fantastic, I highly recommend. Moving towards the rear of the pistol, we have the FS1913 Pistol Stabilizing Brace by SB Tactical. Uh, again, this is a pistol, so this is considered a brace. It does fold, push up on the back, and fold down flat, and this is what makes this an ideal backpack gun package. Absolutely, I mean, just barely over a foot long when folded. Something to note about the FS1913 brace is that we did have some issues at the range or at least one of us did on this brace folding on you while shooting uh, when bracing it. Now, I personally do not have this issue. Um, it obviously will, will just come down to how you stabilize the weapon and how you use it. That will take more time to understand once we have a full review of the weapon system as built, but for now we just wanted to bring that up as a potential issue. Next up on our Scorpion Evo 3 pistol, we replaced the stock CZ Scorpion pistol grip with a Magpul MOE uh, Evo grip. And the reason for that is the stock CZ Scorpion pistol grip is absolutely insanely steep on the grip angle. So it's it needs to, for at least for me, I'm very used to shooting more vertical uh, grips for example the vp9 has a very similar grip angle and this is what i prefer to shoot but this grip angle did not do very well for me so i replaced that part uh great just drop in install with removing this screw from magpul great upgrade in my opinion 
Another one that you won't notice unless you're looking very hard is the rear adapter that you mount the pistol brace on. Now the original stock adapter is seen here. And it's seen no way of mounting any 1913 or any pistol braces on the back. It does have a QD mount. Uh, however, we did want something a little more, a little more modular that we could mount our pistol stabilizing brace on the back. So we went with the Strike Industries uh, QD stock adapter has 1913 on the back so you can mount those SIG and 1913 style braces and or stocks if you decide to SBR your Scorpion. But as you can see, we've got 1913 mount and then a QD mount on the bottom of the system. Really like this a lot. One thing I do have a minor complaint about and this uh, we'll have to update down the line. The plate has a little bit of play. It hasn't really caused me any issue. It is somewhat annoying so we are going to find a way to stabilize that moving up top we have a sig sour romeo 5 uh mac did a review on this for us in the past i actually just took this off of my ar-15 and put it on the scorpion for the purposes of our last range day and i really enjoy it it's a great optic we took the riser off of it so it would co-witness with scorpion sights and it's not too low for this weapon it's actually pretty ideal I enjoy it a lot. As you can see, we did decide to upgrade the Scorpion magazine release. This is the old magazine release uh, lever, and previously it just had a you know swing forward, flush with the bottom of the trigger guard sort of release. And what we did is, let's see if we can zoom in on that. We replaced it with the Strike Industries mag release that made it more of a a few different options for your magazine releases which i really like two ways which you can operate with your trigger finger and the other way which you have a traditional mp5 style drop magazine release so what we can do as you can see you can drop it the traditional way like the old release you can drop it a new way as pushing down on the magazine release or as like an mp5 you can strip the magazine release like that moving forward from there we have mounted up as we've seen in previous videos our olight pl pro valkyrie with pressure switch really enjoy this light i did have it on my ar-15 however i put it on here it seemed more appropriate and uh, i'll be looking for another light for that build however i really like this for this build as for sling options on the scorpion it didn't come with uh, more than one qd mount and when i when i installed the new stock adapter it still only kept one so i purchased the magpul ms1 to ms4 adapter uh, which is basically this just this piece right here and changes it from a an option where you can have a two point sling to a one point sling just to see how I would like it. It wouldn't really change the functionality of my sling. I could still use it on multiple weapon systems. The one point system sling is okay. It's really not all that comfortable to me. I don't really favor it. Um, it'll take a little more testing to go through and to see how I really like it. But the way it's sitting right now, I think I'm going to pick up and add to the build a uh, Parker Mountain Machine QD mount that goes on the front. It, I think it actually replaces uh, one of these two screws and it's a QD mount at the front, which I vastly prefer. So we'll see how that goes. As far as its purpose, the CC Scorpion has made a fantastic backpack gun, which I can take with me basically everywhere. It usually travels with me uh, no matter what, and it's done its purpose quite well. Now, previous range day, we shot a lot of rounds through this. I believe I went through maybe 500 rounds of nine millimeter through this thing uh, without a hiccup at all. Actually ran like a champ. Uh, absolutely awesome. And that's gonna do it for the CZ Scorpion video, guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe to range day. If you have any questions on the build or have any other questions for us, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below. We try to answer and get back to those as soon as we can. As always, thank you for watching. This has been Channel with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Have a good one, guys.